let's talk a little bit about Kmart. Kmart's bankruptcy has a lot of people on Wall Street wondering if the retailer is another Enron. Of course, there's so many questions about accounting these days. Joining us now with his take is Chris Castaldo. He's president and CEO of StrockTradersPress.com. Uh, Randy Smith from the Wall Street Journal is with me as well, so we'll sort of make this a, a three-way chat here. First of all, um, what exactly is Stock Traders Press? I'm not too familiar with it. I have it on my screen for the first time. Uh, we're an independent, unbiased research firm, and uh, we provide, uh, you know, insightful you know, research research to people who want to trade online. I mean, it's been a big switch to people who don't want to deal with stockbrokers anymore for one reason or the other. They trade online, but they don't have time to research the equity, so uh, we do that work for them. Mm -hmm. I, I, as I said, I have your website up here, and I see that you list on that site that you're going to be talking about. Kmart here today with us. Um, you're going to be talking about Kmart on uh, ABC Eyewitness News, and you already commented on LA Opinion, another um, show, I guess. Do you own Kmart? Uh, yes, we do have a, a small position in Kmart. What's uh, define a small position? Um, well, that's proprietary, but we do own the stock at higher levels. You know, at four dollars a share, three dollars a share, two dollars a share, one dollar a share. So we've been buying the stock here. We do believe, that give it some time, this could be you know a six or an eight dollar stock. You know, back in 1996, they did have some problems. Problems. They almost went bankrupt, and at four and a half dollars a share, it did take the company about 27 months, but they got back to 24. I'm not so aggressive on it now, but I think people are playing the stock wrong and there's a lot more value here Don't than you, you see with Enron. I mean, most bankruptcies, the equity holders get completely wiped out. Now, why is it going to be different here? Well, I, I agree with you in, in most cases, but people aren't really looking below the surface. I mean, people are very much so oversensitized because of what's happening with Enron. If you compare Enron with Kmart, I think it's apples and oranges. Enron was basically a trading firm. They had not that many assets, and they just stood between a buyer and seller and took a commission. If you look at Kmart, they've got $37 billion in revenues, 2,100 locations. They've got 250,000 employees, so there's some meat on the bone there. So they've been through a challenging retail environment to say the best, uh, to say the least. Um, they they, they need to put together an aggressive restructuring plan, which I think they are starting to put together. They will be closing quite a few stores that are underperforming. And, you know, I, I think if you really look, I think they will pull this one off as they have in what, the past. What makes you think the debt holders would get paid anywhere near 100 cents on the dollar so that there would be any left over for the equity holders? How, how big is the debt? Well, yesterday, I mean, this is a very important stride, and they've only been in bankruptcy a week, but the, uh, the bankruptcy court will allow Kmart to back out of 350 previously closed stores. I mean, it's stated that Kmart's going to lose approximately $50 million this year, all right? Uh, that might be about, you know, 10 to 20 cents a share. Um, just by closing these 350 locations without any recourse by the real estate uh, companies, that's going to save Kmart $250 million. So it could be argued just on that fact alone that this could move the company back to a smaller Kmart but a profitable streamlined Kmart. Chris Castaldo is with StockTradersPress.com, and you um, admittedly own Kmart. I thank yes. you for coming in and giving us your, uh, your views on it. Thank you very much. Take care.